Oh shit! <laughs> I, I'm not gonna lie, I completely didn't realize I'd already started recording, but that's kind of funny. I'm just gonna leave it. <laughs> I was like, okay, time to start recording. I was like, wait, it's already recording. It's only been 10 seconds. It's fine. Carry on. <laughs> anyways, anyways, in today's episode, we're doing something a bit interesting. Uh, unfortunately, Enter the Beyond, the, the uh, mod that adds in that new boss with the floor that has like the spin down dice, things like that. Unfortunately, that is disabled, at least for this episode. It should be back for the next episode, I hope. Unfortunately, there was an issue in which it was stopping some other mods from loading, but uh, the creator is working on a fix and is pretty sure they know what it is, so it shouldn't be too long before that is sorted. But so the thing that we're doing today is we're going to be checking out a new update for the Children of Calibre by Sophia. This is, of course, a mod I've been using for a very long time at this point now, but some additions have been made, mainly two. One of them is a new chest type akin to the Synergy chest. Essentially, it is a new chest that is going to offer us bullet modifiers, and it is indeed going to be updated to even include modded bullet modifiers from things like her own mod, as well as uh, Nevernames mod and anyone else's that are out there. So, we're going to be seeing those, and they do have an increased chance to spawn on the version I'm currently playing with. Apparently, she said we should definitely see one on the first floor. Guaranteed. So, let's hope that happens. And also, she has added a new NPC shop that is going to offer some of the more, uh, more rare and hard-to-find items that she enjoys from her mod pack. So, I'm very intrigued to get in and try these out. Of course, we're going to be playing as Paradox here. And we're just going to jump in. I did actually attempt to record this video the other day. But the said issue with uh, Enter the Beyond, unfortunately, caused me to get, like, 30 minutes into the video and then realize that, like, three of my main mods weren't working. So, I stopped and I've reconvened. There's been some updates to the mods, things like that. So, it, it's good that we waited anyways. And like I said, it will probably be... B will probably be that we're back playing with Enter the Beyond very shortly in the next episode, maybe the one after. But we're starting with the Sunlight Javelin here and the uh, Knockback Amulet, so nothing crazy. The Sunlight's a pretty good one to start with, though. I think Sunlight Amulet's, um, Sunlight Javelin, sorry, is uh, just generally very, very good. It's just nice and strong. Ooh, I missed the, uh, I missed the, the, the bigger dude. Yeah, it's nice and strong, very ammo efficient. It's basically around 150 kills. I can't remember if the burn damage is enough to kill this guy. I'm gonna I'm gonna leave it and see. Waiting a little a little bit longer than we should, okay? It's no, it's not quite. But yeah, for the most part on this floor it's gonna one shot everything despite gun knights. But I'm really hoping that we end up seeing one of these chests here, so I will save myself a key. They do have a unique visual as well, so we'll know when we see them. Apparently they currently don't have collision, uh, but they otherwise work just fine. So I'm, I'm really excited to see those. Adding new chests into the game is something that we haven't really seen. Um, we haven't I, Have we seen any new chests at all? There's a, there's a chance that one or two mods have new chests, but I can't think of any off the top of my head. So it's kind of a new idea to, to Gungeon, and I think it's something that really can be expanded on a lot. Having, um, having chests that only drop certain types of things could be really interesting. And if you remember, just a few weeks ago, maybe like a month ago at this point, never named... Uh, with the help of someone else and a few other people in the modding community actually found out about a new thing in the game that has been in the game since the start called Weapon Classes uh, that no one knew about for a long time and essentially a lot of modded items didn't have those to start with but now they do and it basically affects the drop chance of items depending on if you already have one so if you have a shotgun you're going to find less shotguns that sort of thing it'd be kind of interesting to see Weapon Class based chests um, I don't know if that'd be a bit too strong, but if they were if they were kind of rarer, I think it could be a, a rather interesting thing. And here's one of them now. We jump in there, we get ourselves a bullet modifier, and it gave us blank bullets. That's pretty awesome. So, at the minute, I don't know what the rarity is set to for my version. Like I said, I do have a version that's a little, uh, got a little higher weight on them, I believe. So we might see more than one throughout the course of this run. But I don't actually know outside of the first floor how many we'll end up seeing. And when the mod is uh, actually fully out, how many we'll be seeing after that. Also, are we getting are we getting a blank per throw on this thing? Because if so, that's pretty strong. Okay, no, we're not. But also, something that's rather interesting is we have the we have the knockback stun uh, whatever it calls stun blank. So we're in a really good spot right now. Uh, we did find a secret room here. I'll just open that up and get the ballot. Pretty happy with that. 
yeah, the fact that we have an amulet to go along with blank bullets here is really good. And I just think the idea of a chest that can only contain uh, bullet modifiers is just awesome. It's such a good idea because bullet modifiers, they affect every gun and they can always create some really unique synergies. So I think it's a great idea. Even having a chest that can only contain amulets with the amount of modded amulets in the game now could be interesting. I think there's a lot of different new chests that with this uh, as sort of a baseline for this to become a thing that appears in other mods or even Sophia creating other versions of what she's already created. It could really add to the experience quite a lot and expand on it. Obviously the chests, like I said, would have to be rare, kind of like synergy chest levels of rare where they don't appear every single run. They're just something that appears here and there. But I think if we got to that point, it'd uh, really set up for some really interesting and fun stuff. So, of course, blank bullets on a guy like this isn't going to be so good. But from room to room, it's going to be great, especially if we can get more amulets. The more amulets we can garner, the more powerful blank bullets are going to become. But even, like I said, just starting with one amulet and it being the stun one, is a, it, the stun ones are a very, very strong one to get with blank bullets, I've got to admit. Being able to, like, have every enemy in the room stunned almost all the time. A little powerful is a little powerful but there you go sunlight we've not even used a hundred ammo on this bad boy uh, i think we did get a, an ammo drop halfway through but bait launch is also really good here what i'm really looking for though is something that's fast firing something that's gonna give us some real firepower we'll crack this open and we'll get ourselves uh, the sticky bomb launcher if i remember correctly this thing isn't that good i think i had it before and it was a bit underwhelming but it may have been buffed since so i will give it another chance i really should have uh, used the the vampire lady to munch myself a bit and get some money but oh well Right. I'm excited that I'm able to check these chests out now. It'd be funny if we ended up getting one per floor rather than one just on the first floor, but I doubt that's going to be the case. But yeah, with the amount of ammo this thing has, I don't expect it to be crazy good. But yeah, it's 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 so so. It's kind of it's like the um, it's like the sticky sticky crossbow, but it kind of feels like it's a bit worse. It's, it's decent, though. We can we can make it work. With the ammo it's currently got and the, the, the weapons we currently have, I think it's kind of one of our better options because it's going to be one of the more ammo-efficient, easier-to-use items. Okay, it may have been buffed a little because I feel like it wasn't... Yeah, I, think, I feel like it was killing slower than this last time. Or maybe I'm just thinking of an entirely incorrect item. Maybe I'm thinking of something different entirely here. Uh, we will pop on this guy and try this out. This is one of the ones that I always suck at, though, so excuse me for uh, my failures here, as as I said. D what? How did that miss the guy in the back? Uh, that's not the guy I was aiming for, so that's fair enough, but, like, come on now. I thought I'd gotten him. I don't know why, but this feels faster than normal. Oh, my lord. I suck so hard at this one. I got two, though. Oh, and we get Melted Rock. Oh boy, Melted Rock. Melted Rock's always one of those ones. It's just, it's just a bizarre item. It doesn't really feel like it fits into the game very well at all. It's very hard to use. It's not awful. By no means is it terrible. I actually think you can get some good use out of it. It's just, I don't know, it just feels off. Something about it that just doesn't feel quite right. Okay. Nonetheless, we've got quite a explosive heavy stuff going on here, even with the blank bullets. But that was a, a crazy good kill there. Check out our shop here. This is going to be where I, I wished I'd... Uh... Ooh. The Uzi Spine uh, Millimeter. Instead of 9 millimeter, it's Spine Millimeter. I like it. I will... Uh, as, as, as much as I do want this gun, though, I will take a key. I'd rather be able to open our chests. And yeah, I, I'm, I'm hoping we end up seeing another one of them chests throughout this run, but... It's not guaranteed. Okay, that worked out. Getting a lot of chest drops, but I think that's due to us just having the ballot. Oh, God. That was close. Yeah, I think the ballot's uh, doing us some good with, uh, with our room drops right now. Oh, my Lord. <laughs> that room was tricky. That room was tricky. It certainly feels good to be back on Gunjun and testing out some new stuff. It's always... 
a joy when uh, when some a new update for a mod comes out. And obviously, um, you'll probably all have noticed that Never Named hasn't really updated his mod in a while. That's mainly due to just him sort of taking on other projects at the minute. Never Named, he, he'll probably end up talking about it next time he's on uh, on an episode, which I'm imagining won't be too far away. But he's um, been doing a lot of inscription modding. He's actually not only been sort of getting involved with drawing his own cards. Of course, Never Named is a very good sprite artist, so kind of builds onto that. But also, he's kind of like taken his abilities and people have kind of... Uh, seen that he's very, very good at spriting, and so he's become uh, the artist for some of the bigger mods out there. In fact, I believe two of the of the larger mods out there for Inscription, he's now uh, he's now taking a part in. Speaking of Inscription, uh, for those of you watching this episode as of the day of this release or the week of this release, you should be seeing Inscription show up on my channel very shortly. Um, it's hopefully coming this week. I've actually I actually recorded it in like in like early February. Um, it's been a long time since I actually started playing it, but I just haven't got around to uploading it yet because for one, I was just trying to find the best time. For two, I was kind of waiting to finish the game before I started uploading it because I wanted to have a backlog to avoid spoilers. I didn't end up doing that. <laughs> I still haven't finished it yet. I will get around to it. Um, we've got this thing. Get up to max ammo usage and we'll go fight the boss with it. Um, yeah, so it, it, I, I'm, I'm definitely looking forward to finishing it, but... Yes, please do avoid spoilers in the uh, in the comments if you guys do end up watching. Also, for any of you that have played Inscription, please be ready for the just ultimate, maximum, infinite amounts of cringe that you are about to witness within my series. Because I make some mistakes. <laughs> I make some really cringy mistakes. And you guys can't correct me because it's all pre-recorded. So have fun with that one. Like there's a there's a clover that you can get about midway into the first act that essentially acts. Ooh yes, uh, the clover essentially acts as a. Um, I don't want to buy this my millimeter. I'll show you back the key. And I'll go go and open this blue chest. Yeah, so there's there's a, a clover that you can get about midway through the first act that essentially acts as a reroll. Um, you can use it to reroll any set of cards that you want into another set. But when you first get given card options, they're face down and you have to reveal them to see what they are. And then once you've revealed them, you can then click the clover to re-roll them. I didn't know for a really long time, like a good three episodes, that that's what the clover did. I thought because it's a clover, it's literally like a four leaf clover, it was a luck increase and you used it to increase the quality of the cards you were about to get. So while the cards were face down, I would click the clover to to upgrade their rarity, not knowing that that's not how it worked at all. And in fact, I was just wasting it, just constantly wasting it. And also, the the game has these use items that you can uh, that you can like use during combat to help you. I never used any of them at all. <laughs> <laughs> I used like, there's like two of them that you have to use for the story, but apart from that, never used any of them, even though they're like integral to doing well. I just ignored them completely. So I, I'm definitely going to put a disclaimer in the start of the video for one, telling people it's pre-recorded because people will leave comments saying, oh, tell next episode, make sure you do this. And I guarantee, even though I say it's pre-recorded, people are still going to do this and be like, yo, turtle, make sure to do this in the next episode. It's a big tip and it's not going to work. Um, so I, I'm going to leave that just in case, but also just to say, hey, guys, I went into this completely blind and I made some really, really, really obvious and dumb mistakes. Please forgive me. Um, hopefully people don't find it too cringeworthy because I do genuinely think that anyone that has played the game and knows how it works is going to have a genuinely seriously hard time watching it because <laughs> it I, I make some really dumb mistakes. I just don't understand how the game works for a long time. Um, and I even get quite mad at it at certain points as well because I don't understand it and because I'm playing, playing it wrong. Uh, so we'll see. I definitely feel like my gameplay gets much, much better in Act 2. But Act 1 is like six episodes long, so they're all like an hour each, so there's quite a lot to get through, but we shall see. We shall see. I just hope people enjoy it nonetheless. You never really know, do you?
Get back to the javelin now again. I really need something... Oh, really? We're really gonna need something fast firing so I can take advantage of blank bullets a little more. At the minute, we've not really got anything that's really good for blank bullets. Like, that works. Look at that. Stuns them, and then re-stuns. Okay. I don't know how I didn't get hit there, but I'll take it. Yeah, the stunning here is super, super good. I need, like, chaos amulet now. Chaos amulet would fit me nicely. Okay, let's try and take out this guy first. Got the, just the sheer amount of poison never name. Come on. It's ridiculous. It's too much. I will constantly complain about this. <laughs> I'll never let up. Also, we might be able to steal this floor as well. That'd be nice. I was a bit confused then, but then I realized this guy's behind a table. I was at least. Look at that. What the hell? It's a single enemy. Covers the entire room. Ah, uh, that mushroom was like right there. Okay, it's just a barrel. I wonder why that guy didn't fire for so long then, but I think I stunned him the moment the room started. Good. Some money there as well. I've actually got really good money, so we don't need to steal. But I'm hoping we find an NPC, and then we can steal from them. Or the vice versa, we can steal from the normal shop and buy from the NPC. Okay, this is a, a job for the Sticky Bomb launcher, I think. It's a better job with that slight AoE. And this guy goes down to this pretty quickly. Good, good. God damn, I got a massive amount of lag there. Fucking poison! Ah! I just want to leave the room safely. Good. Oh, he left a blob. He left a blob. Started the whole world crying. Oh my god. Ah! Ah! I hate it. I hate it. I remember when Nevernim told me about these curses, and I was like, cool. That's a great idea. I love it. And now I'm like, you devil. You genuine devil. How could you befall the human race with this evil? Found a secret room. That's a big ass secret room too. What the hell? We also got the uh, the double AKs. What on earth is going on here? Nice. That's a good secret room. <laughs> right. One minute. I've got a notification. I kind of need to check these just in case it's not a bot telling me to don't be a doof. Okay. Cool. Awesome. Once Sophia updates, it should be fixed, apparently. So, we're nearly there. We're nearly there. We've got two keys here. We've actually already got a lot of keys, so we don't have any requirements to buy that. So, it's always a shame when you have the ability to steal and a fuck ton of money. By the way, this is finally the the sort of gun that we needed to do good um, blank shots damage. But, yeah, you finally get something really good going on. Loads of money, loads of keys, all that sort of stuff. And it's like the shop's like, lol, there's nothing in here. Come back again another day, bitch. <laughs> but yeah, having the shoot backwards and forwards is pretty good for us here. I probably should use something a little stronger though. Let's uh let's get in there with some of this. Just to slow him a little bit. And then we can go in with this, I guess. I think this is a, a pretty strong boss killer, right? And slow him down again. Triple crossbow is always one of those ones where it's 
it's so it, it's, it is kind of underrated for its slowing ability. The slowing ability is pretty damn useful. But it's just the, the, the ammo plus the actual damage it does itself just isn't good. I always forget with this thing as well, I don't actually have to hit the boss. The tigers would have come in and hit him nonetheless. There you go. Ooh, hard reload bullets. I think that's longer reloads, but more damage, right? 30% damage bonus, uh, but a uh, 50% reload time increase. Not terrible. Not not great, though. But if we're using this thing, we shouldn't really mind, should we? You've got to remember this thing only has 500 bullets, really. Like, it uses two per shot. And then we get this. What the hell's this? The Cultist Helm. Very cool looking. We got the... Exploder gun. I'm, uh, there's a very strong possibility I've had this before. Um, comes with a sick grenade launcher. Do you know what? Pretty cool. Got this room again, which I do not want to touch for right now. And unfortunately, we are late to the shop. Right. We go. We go. I'm liking this run so far, though. We've got some interesting stuff going on. I'm loving the fact that we've got a blank bullet synergy going on, too. Blank bullets are always one of those ones where it's like, they're so great to get because they're just powerful in general. But then you get the synergies going with them. And they have some of the most fun synergies in the game. Of course, like, Chaos Amulet's probably the best one. If you get it with, um, I forget what the amulet's called now. The one that just, get, is it gold amulet that just does damage? That one's busted as fuck. <laughs> I mean, Chaos Amulet's also pretty busted. But Chaos Amulet's at least more fun because you get, like, a bunch of random things happening. Oh, we got one of these little mini hulls. Thank you. Crack that open. Not bad, not bad. Um, we're gonna Actually, do you know what? No, it is bad. I was going to say we're, we're going to um, be able to floor the bosses easier with this, but I realise it reduces your boss damage by quite a bit, so... I will abstain. But yeah, now we're just going to be blanking so much. We're going to be knocking everything back, stunning them all over the place. It's kind of beautiful, really. For the most part, I don't have to worry about anything. Oh, the stunned raccoon! Look at him! The chunky boy that he is. When he's stunned, he just sits there. What a little fella. What a little fella. He's cute. I like him. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Uh, ba -da -ba -da. Challenge mode. Hell yes. Final attack and gold revenge. All in all, not too bad. Final attack's a little spicy, but I think... Okay. I was just, just about to say we should be fine, but actually, it's a little problematic with these enemies. I suppose, though, because we have blind bullets, final attack really isn't all that bad whatsoever. Right. What do you want to give us? Another bullet modifier, maybe? Ooh, our AK just upgraded to, yes, the bronze amulet. Hell yes. What does that do? I can't remember now. Uh, amulet appears to have shrunk. Okay, it shrinks enemies. Awesome. We've got an even cooler synergy now going on. And the AK has upgraded. I did forget it does this. As you can see, we now have triple the AK. Yes. <laughs> We're just going to be shrinking everything. This is beautiful. Synergy chest as well. Unfortunately, didn't actually get a synergy. We got the elephant gun. Not so bad. It's not great, though. I think we got a mini boss here. Let's go fight the mini boss. I'm so glad that we got another amulet, and it's a really cool one as well. We are going to be spending a lot of ammo with this thing now, but more blanks is always better for us, so I don't really mind. Still yet to need to use our charm horn. I realize we could use it during rooms as well, but I tend not to. Crack that open. We got ourselves the Jackpot of Greed Midas Touch. It's got infinite ammo. Infinite ammo, priceless, but useless in the Gungeon where normal currency has no meaning. Conjure infinite gold coins. Okay. It's just a straight up infinite ammo weapon. 
It turns that guy into gold. That's pretty cool. I like this. Okay, this is a cool one. Definitely not our primary use because this AK is styling. Absolutely styling. Like, this, this weapon's always been one that I've really wanted to use, but it's always had problems with, like, causing weird bullet issues where bullets, like, freeze. So it's nice to finally have a run that's, like, central around it where it actually works. And we're having a lot of fun. I just hope for more amulets. Give me what I desire. I am liking the shrinkies, though. The shrinkies plus the stunnies. Everyone's a bebski. Oh, he's so small. The good thing is, we, we can stun them and then walk over them. It's kind of the ultimate combo, really. Oh, look at that little ghosty boy. <laughs> I smushed him. Because they get stunned, they're not firing at us. So we can just run up to them and walk right over them. Great. Hello. Are you going to be a little small boy too? Oh, look at him. He's saying hello. He's like, hey, mum. <laughs> Watch. Oh, he's not going to do it now. I'm just going to step on him. <laughs> he's like waving his hand in the air like, hello. It's my turn to play on the Xbox. Okay, we definitely need some more ammo though. That much is obvious. Oh, the bats are so tiny. This bat's stuck in the wall. He shrunk straight into the wall. Okay, we do have another chest on this floor. Probably should have bought the keys on the last floor. We need a speed upgrade is what we need. This is such a cool combo. Oh, I love it. Look at all the bells. Got him. Hey, don't teleport away from me, small boy. Okay, unfortunately we went every which way but the shop. I'm at least hoping the shop has ammo for us. Ammo and a single key is all I need. Oh god, that's why they need to be stunned. Because they can still shoot you all the same. Ammo and a key. Also, Gun Muncher. I feel like Gun Muncher could work here. You can have that. I'm not really using it right now. And you can have the Elephant Gun as well. Danka, danka. Great. <laughs> you put out something next to useless. Okay. Let's go open this bad boy up. Ooh. Key gen. Key gen's weird. <laughs> A strange fragment of corrupted software initially developed to generate free access to the contents of chests within the Gungeon. In the years since its creation, however, it's become chaotic, unpredictable, and dangerous. Use with extreme caution. This thing can do some wacky shit. <laughs> this is an item I've been waiting to find in an actual run for a while. It's uh, ne never named was quite quite happy with this one, so I've wanted to, I've been wanting to show it off for a while, and so I shall. Slightly annoying boss. I reckon we. I'm not saying I reckon we weren't flawless, but I actually think we should be okay. It depends. If I want to get out my AK, I can just do that. This is one of those bosses where its bullet patterns can be kind of hard to dodge, but for the most part, if, you go, if you're decent enough at sidestepping, they're really not too bad. I'm not going to say it's easy, because if I say it's easy, you know I'll get hit. But, like, they're a little less difficult than they initially seem. Of course I got hit. But I was that's because I was trying to use blind bullets. <laughs> I could have just used an actual blind. But it's not like I need the help. There you go. 
Rip up that guy's face. We got ourselves the Red Blaster. Remember the Red Blaster isn't all that good, but we'll take him nonetheless. Right. Away we go. Yeah, I'm excited to try and use Keygen. If I remember correctly, it's basically just like the lock picks, but it can do a lot of other effects. I think it can like blow up the chest, duplicate the chest, open it for free. It's it, it's got like m quite a few different effects it can do. I, I might I might be completely um, missing the mark on what it does and be completely wrong, but that's what I re that's what if I remember correctly, that's what it does. It's nice that I'm finding some new stuff here, but that, that's another reason why I think these unique chests, like even just having each mod, like each modder create their own chest for their own modded items, it'd be fun because then you get to see more unique stuff. Obviously, I'm not saying that every modder has to do that. That's not an obligation I want to put onto anyone, but that's just an idea of uh, a way that you could utilize this, uh, this interesting thing that Sophia's done. To kind of build up some more interesting modded runs. Good. good. Right, well, I think this thing is... Is this thing at max upgrades now? I think it is, isn't it? Yeah, I think this thing's at max upgrades now. Might have one more. The miniature uh, enemy's shadows is still at full size. That's kind of funny. Wait, what the hell's this? The sack of pickups. Sounds intriguing. I, I kind of like to keep to take the keys instead, but I'd, I want to use key gen first. But yeah, when we walk into rooms. We should just be doing this now. I just walked right onto that there. Oh! Oh, wait. Is this a little glitch that I've found? Oh, wait. No, no, no. Okay. Start firing at me again, guys. I want to test this out. Damn it. I missed again. Shit. There you go. Right. Start firing again. Yes! Glitches. <laughs> Very minor glitch, obviously. Very specific. But I like finding them. I'm good at finding them. Yeah, the shadows thing's a little weird. I don't know if that's a problem with the enemies or champions themselves, or if it's a problem with the miniaturized effect from Never Name's item. I'm not sure. It's all a bit wacky, but yeah, this is a, a crazy run for this. It no longer affects bullets either. Um, bullets, sorry, bosses. The, for a short time, the miniature effect did affect bosses, and you could just roll over the bosses and kill them in a single hit. Personally, I think it was perfect the way it was, but it did get fixed. We're about to approach our first chest. Then knock this guy inside the wall. Oh god, that guy just like created a bunch of shots straight away. Calm down, you. There's a key anyways. Right, so let's use key gen on this. Oh. That was just, it just opened it. Jar of souls. I'm a motherfucking ghost. Duplicate every living enemy as a ghost which fights for you. That sounds awesome, but I've got to stick with key gen. I know that I don't have any chests left after this next one. And that was just an unlock effect. Still, though, that visual effect's pretty awesome. We un unfortunately got Keygen a bit late for it to be truly uh, useful. But I'll keep, li I'll, I'll keep letting it live its dreams nonetheless. Keep the dream alive. Yeah. 
This is such a fun little synergy. I keep saying it, but I love it. I just get to walk in and steamroll everything. It's great. Oh, look at his arms. They were huge. Keygen's ready again. Nice. Do you want to stop, says? What the hell? Oh, there's, there's more. He's just so small, I can't see him. Would you get a synergy chest, lady? I'd gladly uh, pay into that. We also got whatever this is. Hello! Here's the new NPC. Yes, please. And it's selling some very good items. Mini Nomicon being the main one. We'll see if we can end up affording that. I don't know. But that is, of course, one of the new NPCs. In fact, I'll come back to him in a second and talk to him. Because I didn't actually talk to him. If we can't afford the Mini Nomicon, I'm just going to give myself the money to buy it. Because I want to I want to use the NPC. And the Mini Nomicon's really fun. So, you're going to have to deal with me cheating. Especially with this weapon, Mini Nomicon will be hilariously fun. In fact, let's, uh... There you go. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, that's you, that's you all grown up. me the casings to free my soul. I was trying to get more casings by making that enemy jammed, in case that wasn't immediately obvious. Keygen. Oh, it just changed it into a green chest. That's a bit depressing, but we got something kind of interesting out of it. Right. Okay, let's give ourselves some casings. Uh, give casing 70. There you go. It's cheating, but it's fun. <laughs> it's okay if it's fun. I just want to use the NPC and see his dialogue and stuff. That's my excuse. But yeah, I don't know if this guy always shows up on this floor or if it's completely random. Greetings, fellow being of the flesh. Care to buy anything? All pro um, proceeds go to 100% non-evil cause. Care to support your local not-at-all-evil cult? Fire be gone, flesh. Take, thank you for the payment, flesh. I like that. Cool. But yeah, very, very cool little NPC here. I like him. But yeah, this this is going to be a wacky gun with Mini Nomicon. I hope you're prepared for this. Oh, oh, oh. Mini Nomicon, one of the funnest items ever created. I don't know what's going on right now, but I'm excited. I think I got hit there on the uh, the water being electrified. It's just so great that it can like pull from modded tier effects as well. Yeah. Only got 40 bullets left in this thing. <laughs> oh no. Try out this thing for killing the actual uh, heart itself. Ow. Not dodge roll far enough that time. This thing is not good. <laughs> at least not good at killing the heart, that is. Go with the 10 times damage on this bad boy. Ow! Why am I so bad at the, at the moment? Also, what's that, like, circle? That, that zero on the dragon's chest there? I'm not sure what that's about. Right. 
Is there anything else we want to do while we're here? Not really. Okay, let's go. Sadly, no ammo to buy, so I guess... What should we resort to using? We don't really have a good other weapon to use. I guess the triple crossbow fires a good amount. We just need ammo, really, as soon as possible. Right, let's go. Feels like it's been a while since I've been to bullet hell. Despite not needing to at all, I'm going to activate a few of the curses. Just because they're fun. I'm not sure which ones I want to go for this time, though. Um, I don't like the darkness one. I like that one. That one's cool. Um, and we'll do the jammed one as well. Ow. We did find a secret room through doing that, though, so... Oh, unfortunately, it's just the gun muncher secret room, though. I always forget that's here. Oh, hell. Oh, hell. There is a lot going on right now. Oh, fuck. That scared the shit out of me. Oh, poor little baby. I think this is just going to be a rounded out. I need to go this way, don't I? Pretty sure. I just need ammo. Just give me ammo. Excuse me? Oh, <laughs> hello. I was like, what am I waiting for here? My god. I need some health too. Health and ammo, what I currently need. Oh, that guy's not small. Why aren't you small? Why can't I? This is a troll. It just makes them so small that it pushes them into the walls. This isn't fair. I can't shoot or hit these guys. I love it when it fires one of those. So every bullet it fires can also be mini, mini number on. Ow! The fuck? Also, you're still alive? What? Okay, I'm out of ammo on that bad boy now. God damn, this is deeply upsetting. I'm probably gonna die. Why wouldn't this dude die? <laughs> Fucking die! My lord, how much health did you have? Oh, ammo. We might just have a chance now. Oh god, I didn't really think about this dude. Oh my lord, he has some spicy attacks that I don't quite understand. What on earth just hit him? Are those bats mine? What is this? Okay. <laughs> it just opened it. <laughs> oh, 
Okay, well that was spicy. Hey. Hey now, this is a trap room. I know this room. Oh god. Oh! What the hell just happened to my air care? It's turned infinite. <laughs> no, you bitch. It no, oh, it turned infinite, which is kind of cool, but it also ruined the gun because now it doesn't shoot multiple directions and it doesn't adopt mini nomicon, so this thing's trash now. <laughs> Like, I understand that that's specific to my current scenario, and most of the time having it go infinite would be pretty useful. But that's so annoying that in this specific scenario, I really don't want it or need it to go infinite, and it still did. I would have liked to stay on the form it was previously on forever. I suppose I have now a very good gun that has infinite ammo that I can utilize blank bullets with, but I would very much like it to go back to how it was. <laughs> Nah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna still use it though, despite Mini Nomicon not being adopted, because it is very strong. It's still a very, very good gun to have. Okay, Keygen, you do you, do you, I guess. Is it meant to be infinite use? I feel like it's not, right? <laughs> Ooh. Oh, I didn't realize this thing had three bullets before I shot it. Can be rerouted into carried items to charge them up. What? I don't know what that means. I'm gonna have to go in the wiki and see, because that, that makes no sense to me. Do I have to like drop an item on the floor and shoot it or something? Um, It says, it does say items, not guns. Right, guns. Here it is. Okay, I need to scroll across. If the player fires a capacitor air while any active item is in the inventory, uncharged or not... Oh, okay. It just charges your active item. I mean, unfortunately, that's not very good for us, but that's a cool item. I like the idea. God damn. This thing's strong. I just wish it would adopt my uh, mini Omicron effects. Oh, what the fuck? Stop doing that to me, game. The tiny bitch baby still shoots at me and I can't fucking see him. Thanks, Keygen. <laughs> Keygen make it, made it into a mimic. Either that, it was already a mimic. Either way. Very fun run nonetheless. That's a lesson to your kids. Check your mimics. Either way, I hope you guys enjoyed this one. This was a really fun one. And we got to see some really cool new stuff, including the new NPC and the new chest. So I'm very happy about that. And we finally got to see the AK reach its penultimate form and ultimate form. Either way, hope you guys enjoyed. And I'll see you guys in the next one.